Today on Two Crazy Kitas, we're going to do a What I Eat in a Day vlog, and Rachel has a special challenge. So let's get this day started, right, right after, after this. this. Hey, what's up family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we're Two, two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. If you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like product reviews, we do recipe videos, we talk about various keto topics, and then every Monday, we sit down on the couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us in different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com, and that's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now, we do upload at least five new videos every single week, so make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon, and that way, every single time we upload a new video you'll be alerted to it yeah so today uh we're gonna do a what i eat in a day video but spoiler alert we're eating keto chow and keto bricks yes we are so it's gonna be a little bit strange we've got a little bit of a challenge going on in the middle of this video but we got to find out later yeah we'll talk about what the actual challenge is later but in the meantime you're gonna go to work mm -hmm. i'm gonna go cut a couple of properties then we're gonna come back home and we're gonna head to the mall because I think we're gonna go get some Crocs. It's painful to even think about it. I can't even believe we're gonna do this, but we'll tell you guys why later. So we're gonna make the first batch of Keto Chow for Rachel's challenge, and we're gonna use the chocolate peanut butter flavor, mostly because it's higher in fat and a little bit higher in calories at 179 calories for a scoop. So we got our butter, we've got one and a half sticks of butter and then we're going to fill this up with hot water and then add our peanut butter keto chow. Now we always add extra water. So this is the 64 ounce uh, Vitamix container and we fill it all the way up to here and that allows each one of the shaker bottles to be filled all the way to the top. So now we're gonna add in our three scoops of chocolate peanut butter. One thing about the chocolate peanut butter is you got to make sure that the scoop is actually full. Okay now that the scoop is full that's one, two, and three. Put the lid on. Put it on low. And blend. All done. And into our blender bottles we go. So Joe is furiously making our keto chow for today before he heads out to work. And I am going to the church to set up stuff for this upcoming week. But first, I'm going to have a double serving of this super coffee. It's the new sweet cream flavor. It is so, so good. So I'm going to make a coffee and head out. So I'm going to start my day with a super coffee, the mocha flavor, because Rachel drank all of the regular coffee. And Anthony, the non-keto person... He's starting his date with some corn dogs and ketchup. So I have like two houses to cut today. They're uh, larger properties, they're like acre properties. And then I'm gonna go home and uh, take a shower. I've got a little bit of work to do on the computer. And then when Rachel gets home, I think we're gonna go to the Sawgrass Mall. There's a Crocs store there. And we're gonna get a pair of Crocs and wear them in like solidarity with Anthony uh, because we're always making fun of him with the Crocs. And I'm going to try to get Rachel to go to the Lake Reset store. Hopefully she doesn't realize what my actual plan is. Like, don't care about the Crocs, do care about Lake Crusette. Okay, so after starting his day with corn dogs, Anthony's now eating a giant M&M cookie from Wawa. I have a question for you. What? What would it take to get you to do keto for 30 days? I'm not doing it for 30 days. 30 days? I'm not doing it. One week? No. What would it take to get you to do for one week? I'm not doing it. Come oh, on. You're, you're the white screen. So I love sharing with you guys what we're doing here in Coastal Kids. I'm right now in the three and four room. We are in the middle of a racing series and it was very hard to find things with a race theme. So I just kind of made posters myself. Um, here's one that just says win with Jesus. I've added a lot of like what I would call character development posters, like cheerful, thankful. Here's just sort of a demonstration of 
poor self-control versus self-control. So here's another poster in our room. It says, start your engines, ready, set, go with God. It's got some racing stickers on it, just to add some color to the room. And here are our take-home bags. I like to make it as easy as possible for our volunteers to serve. So as much as I can prepare ahead of time where they can just write the child's name on it and go, that's what I like to do. Here's an example of the take home sheet the kids are going home with this weekend. Our main point is I will obey when I am tired. That's a challenge, right? It's easy to obey sometimes, but not when you're tired. I totally understand that every family is not a keto family. However, I am trying to work out um, candy and sugary snacks as much as I can within our children's ministry. So instead of giving out, you know, lollipops and things like that, especially in the preschool room, as much as possible, I try to have kind of just little alternatives that are very expensive, but more like a treasure box thing so that the kids can still have fun, but they're not all sugared up. Here are some fun things that we have in our baby room. Um, new babies get to go home with a little onesie that says, I love my church. Whenever we have a dirty diaper that like, oh my goodness, some of them are crazy. I like to bring in these little doggy bags and actually just uh, double bag them. And that way no one passes out from the smell, but that's a little hack. And then we like to have these little stickers so that the parents know that we have changed their diapers. So here are the games the kids are gonna be playing in the elementary room this weekend as they learn the main point. I will keep on doing my part of God's plan. They're gonna be first up playing a game of attackers and defenders. They've got to get balls inside of their team bucket without getting nailed by the other team. Then they're going to be trying to work together using these rubber bands to create a rope that will pull this cart across the room, but they gotta work together to make it happen. And then lastly, they're going to be playing a game of, you know, put the ping pong ball on the spoon and carry it across the room in order to be able to participate in review questions about the Bible story that they learned. And there is a stage show that goes on during the hour that they are in the elementary room, but here are some of the team games that they'll be playing in addition. Okay, I just got done rolling up all of these potential volunteer shirts, and I need you guys to pray that we have a enough volunteers to fill them all because we definitely need more volunteers in kids ministry. Well, it's 1230 and I'm done with all my work for the day. So I'm going to wait for Rachel to get home so that we can go to the mall. And while I'm waiting, I'm going to drink an orange seltzer water from Publix and I'm going to immerse myself into some Call of Duty modern warfare. And I know you're probably thinking like, what is he doing at the age of 49 still playing video games? But I honestly still enjoy doing it. Sometimes I just want to kind of sit back and do nothing. And uh, video games are a great way for me to relax and not have to think about anything. Although playing Call of Duty on its launch weekend is usually not very relaxing because there's a lot of people who are trying to grind. And uh, yeah, it kind of gets a little sweaty. What are you doing? Oh, come on! What are you doing? I'm trying to relax. <laughs> well, it sounds very relaxing. Hey, I thought we were going to the mall. We are. Well, um, before we go, you need to paint my toes. What do you mean paint your toes? Remember you promised that I was going to get a pedicure. I bought you a pedicure. No, I want you to do it. <sighs> Fine, I'll paint your toes. Then we're going to the mall. But I want to go to Lake Crescent. <sighs> Do I need to be concerned that there's an entire stack of band-aids like just sitting on our counter? Probably. Why? Well, my heel is still healing and I borrowed some band-aids from my mom. I mean, I guess borrowed is not the right word. I'm not gonna give them back to her when they're done. I don't think she wants back your bloody band-aids. Probably not. You have the tiniest toenails. I know. At least it's not because I bite them. That would be interesting. Talk about putting your foot in your mouth. <laughs> you are doing a fantastic job, sir. Hey, I think I'm doing a pretty good job considering I'm not wearing my glasses. These are just like, you know, blue blocker glasses. Oh, I thought those were your actual glasses. No, I still haven't gone to the doctor to get like a new prescription. So these actually like just block out the blue light for playing my video games. So oh. I have no idea what I'm doing. Oh man, you're probably gonna paint my foot. Uh, yeah, don't blame me if there's like, I can't even see where your toenail ends and where your uh, like skin starts. Look at Tabitha just like, 
casually getting up on the couch where she knows she's not supposed to be. She doesn't know anything. She's like, you guys don't sit on this couch. It's mine now. It's two o'clock and we're waiting for Rachel's nails to dry so that we can go to the mall. So I'm going to enjoy my first keto chow of the day. This is the chocolate peanut butter with four tablespoons of salted butter in it. Okay, you ready? I just saw that Mindy posted their free range chickens going around in our neighborhood. Yeah, well, if they lay eggs anywhere on the street, they're mine. I thought you might want to open this. Let's put the phone around or not open it, but show what we got. Oh yeah, oh my gosh, this was so exciting. Look at this beautiful coffee. Let's turn on the AC. Oh my goodness. So we got this, I mean, it smells amazing. I had it in my car for two days and the entire car smelled like coffee. It is amazing. This is Camano Island Coffee Roasters. Papua New Guinea and Brazil uh, flavors. And the card attached says, thank you for sharing yourself with the world. Y'all are awesome. It is a nice change to see people's faith shining through. Y'all are such a blessing to watch. Do enjoy the coffee. Rachel deserves it. Joe, you need to try it black. You will taste the difference and may not need to add anything at all. Just saying. We hope you're enjoying this gift on behalf of Tia. Thank I've tried you, black Tia. coffee, not my damn. I don't know, well, you know what? We haven't tried this brand. So thank you so much, Tia. This is so exciting. I cannot wait to like rip this open. What is this in the back seat? What? Do you have an entire case of bangs sitting in the back seat? That's my stash that I'm hiding from you. Well, it's not a very good hiding spot. It's like right in plain sight. Except for you never get in my car. So. That's true. It's been in the car for like two weeks or now about a week and a half. Is it gonna be all hot and gross? Well. I, I still drink it, so. I don't think I want hot bang. I have a cooler. I just take one or two and throw it in the cooler. Oh, okay. I forget. You keep a cooler in the car. <laughs> I actually really like that flavor, but I have to stop. Like, I got, like, addicted to bang because they're so good, and lately it's been, like, one every other day, and it used to be, like, one a week at best. Is it your, like, coffee addiction? Like, yeah. my addiction was coffee, and yours is... Sour Heads Bang. Sour Heads and Pina Colada. Those are the best two flavors, in my opinion. Okay, so we're going to the mall. We're gonna go, I can't believe we're gonna actually do this, but we're gonna buy Crocs. We're doing it. We're going to like show some solidarity for Anthony and his girlfriend. Yep, we're gonna join the Croc revolution. Because we keep making fun of them because they wear Crocs. And they're like, but you don't wear them, so you don't know how comfortable they are. Yeah, so there's a Crocs outlet store in the mall. Yeah, because we're not paying full price. Yeah. Not for Crocs. And while we're at the Sawgrass Mall. We're going to the Disney store? No, we're going to Lake Crusade because I really want a little cast iron saucepan because I want to make ghee and I can't use ghee. the current pots that I have. I hope we save big time on the Crocs because we're going to need it if we're going to that store. Well, we're only going to get something if it's like like super discount. Like sometimes there's like a certain color that's 50 or 60% off. But if there's nothing on sale, I'm not getting one. You're going to restrain yourself? I will restrain myself. So while we're like driving, you know, I've already had lunch. You have not eaten because you're doing OMAD. I'm doing OMAD. I am drinking a Zevia energy drink. It's three o'clock. You still haven't eaten. You're probably not gonna eat now till like five o'clock. Right. So I think that what we should do is kind of talk about why you're OMADing and I'm not. Before we get into what exactly you're doing and why you're OMADing and I'm not OMADing, uh, I wanted to mention the reverse diet. We're still in it. Yeah, a lot of people keep asking us, like, are you guys still doing the reverse diet? I feel like you might be able to tell from my round face. <laughs> we are up a couple of pounds, but I don't know if it's from the reverse diet or it's from the amount of work that we have been doing lately and the stress and the lack of sleep. Well, the only thing is, I have to say, we've increased and I've gained one pound. Right. Which is, I feel like, pretty good. And I've gained like two pounds, but it's kind of weird because sometimes it's two pounds and sometimes I'm back down. And I do know that my clothes are a little bit tighter. But yeah. again, Robert did tell me that like expect to put on a little bit of fat. 
I'm currently eating 700 calories more than I was. And how much am I eating more than I was? I don't know. Well, this, listen, well, this week I'm at 2,500 calories. Which sounds I'm, crazy. Which is like crazy. And you're, I think, at like 1,877 or something which like that. Which is a lot. And you were maintaining like somewhere around 13 or 1,400 before. So... so you're up a significant amount. And not gaining weight, really. I mean, one pound to have that much more calories. Right. But again, I don't know like how much fat I've gained. Because like I said, my clothes are a little bit tighter. Me too. So what we're doing though. I'm not is, happy about that. <laughs> we're not going to increase the calories anymore. We're going to maintain here for a couple of weeks. And then we're going to start reversing back down. But what Robert said was maintain at this higher caloric intake for a couple weeks let your body get used to it and then take away and then we're going to start taking away and we'll probably take away like 150 or 200 you know that was the whole idea to really increase the calories so that you could then reduce but when we reduce we're still going to be eating more than we were eating before and that's the whole goal that's the whole goal and then we'll be able to increase back up but it's i'm excited to see what happens me too so let's get back into why you're omitting, I'm not. So I, by the way, did just drink a Zip Fizz, but drank it all before I uh, turned the camera on. You have a green light. I know, I have a green light. Anthony yelled at me this morning because I was filming him, and uh, yeah, I'm trying to get him to do keto for a month. I see, and I he was like, like, green light, keep going, green light. <laughs> okay, so, okay, back, so I had a Zip Fizz. I already had a keto chow. Okay. So, which leads us into where you're omatting. I am. And what are you omatting? Three keto chows, but in a row within a one hour time period. Okay. <laughs> you are going to get so sick. Nope. You are. I really think I can do this. So, last week, we mentioned it in Keto on the Couch. Last week, we were on the live stream with Chris, uh, and, Chris Miriam. and Miriam on the Keto Chow live stream, which Hi, is. Hi, Chris and Miriam. Every Tuesday at, uh, what is it? It's 9.30? No, it's 9.30 at my house. 9.30 Eastern time. So I think house. it's 6.30 their time. They're in Utah. Okay. Okay, so they were talking about omatting. Somebody asked, can you omat keto chow? And he was like, yes, but, like, you're going to have a difficult time doing it. Chris, when he does, like, intermittent fasting with it, he, like, drinks a keto chow, waits an hour, drinks a keto chow, waits an hour, drinks a keto chow. And Rachel said, I would have no problem drinking three keto chows in one hour. Yep. I don't think I will. <laughs> in fact, I think I'm going to make them ice cream. I think you're going to get sick. So, to be in solidarity with Rachel, I am doing keto chow only today, which we've given up the wings for a week to do this. Yeah. Forgot about that, didn't you? Yeah. And so I am doing keto chow, but I am not going to be, for me to drink only keto chow, you'd be talking about like a ridiculous, what is that, like eight tablespoons of butter? A, a tub of butter To get 2,500 calories in keto chow in? Doesn't make me sad contemplating that. So, no, well, what I'm going to do is I'm doing three keto chows, one of which is the chocolate peanut butter because okay. we make all of our keto chow in threes yeah it's just you, you saw the way i did it this morning it's a big vat of it i make it in a 64 ounce vitamix and we do more water than what keto chow actually suggests so that when we do it usually your keto chow would come up to about here on a blender bottle we fill it all the way up to the top so i know exactly how much water to put into my 64 ounce vitamix and we make three at a time so you've got the two chocolate peanut butters because we were trying to do the calorie thing. Right. I've got one chocolate peanut butter and two salted caramel. So that comes out to be like right around 1,500 calories, like 1,550 calories. And I'm going to do a keto brick for okay. the other 1,000 calories. So I'll probably be over by about 75 calories, but I'm okay with that. Yeah. So, so yeah. I don't even know if I'm going to be able to do it. And I'm not omatting. Like, a keto brick and three keto chows. I don't know if I could do a keto brick, though. I mean, <laughs> we've done a keto brick challenge in the past, and those things do fill me up. So, yeah. I'll be interested to see if keto chow does the same thing. So, yeah. So, that's what we're going to do. I'm going to have the keto brick. So, when we get home from the mall, you're going to do your keto, your keto chow challenge. But first, we will go work up an appetite shopping. 
So I have a question for you. Yes. While we're here, what do I get if I actually can find a couple's costume and actually get dressed up for Halloween? Oh man. Wow, I don't know. I was actually looking online and I was on Amazon trying to find couples costumes and I found some really cool ones, but none of them were prime and they weren't gonna get here till November 1st. Well, that is completely not helpful. There was one really cool, it was like deer in headlights and it was a guy with a deer mm -hmm. and then a woman with like two cans over her boobs for the headlights. And we're about to enter into what I consider to be the worst mall in the world. We're going to Disney Store first. No. I need a new mug. We're not getting any more mugs unless you throw out at least half of the ones we have. No, we're getting more. No. We totally need these. We are not getting this. First of all. It's the wishing well from Snow White. It's only $3. Okay, first of all, look at the size of this mug. Look, I mean, it looks like, okay, look inside. That's about like a half of a Rachel cup of coffee, not even a half. Yeah, but as you drink it, it says you, that you're the kindest one of all. It holds about four ounces. If you keep wearing hats like that, somebody's gonna put you like away. I love this. We need it. I need it. No. I'm not going out in public with you like that. Yeah, you will. Rachel, we don't even have to go to the Crocs store. Oh my gosh, they have Disney Crocs. How much are they? $30, but we have Disney points. Rachel, they do have regular Disney Crocs. Those are cute. $22. I'm kind of afraid of like, what is the regular price for Crocs? We'll go over to the Crocs store, but if you don't see anything, you can come back and get those at least. Honey, look, we could do Mickey Mouse fat bombs. Oh my gosh, that's so cute, yes. Those are kinda cool, how much is this? $4. That's a deal. Regular price was $10 in the park. Look honey, they have a mug that describes yeah. everything that's in our home. Mine, 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 mine. Oh my gosh, is that the cutest purse ever? That is kinda cool. It's a small world after all. That How is, much is that? Forty-two dollars. What was the regular price on that? I'm afraid eighty-four. This one spoke to me. He said thanks for noticing. We should totally get this doll Why? because it's practically perfect in every way. Are we seriously going into this place? I think this is actually happening. Let's, My stomach is starting to turn. Let's go. This is just kind of scary. So these guys are $50 and we are at an outlet store. So I think this is a sign that we need to go back to Disney and use our points. Now the $50 doesn't even include those little Mickey things. That's just for all of these Crocs. They're like $50 a pair. I'm impressed that at least there's different styles. There's some that are lined. There's some with like different colors that are cool, but yeah, like I'm not paying full price for this. There is a liquidation section right here. Let's go look at that at least. So on our way out the door, the guy goes to us, hey, by the way, all the clearance stuff, buy, buy one, one, get, get one, one free. free. Now you're speaking my love language. Right, you wanna go over what we got? Yeah. Okay, so we're doing this in the middle of the mall. We're super classy. <laughs> so these ones are for Joe. Joe actually got three pairs. I did. Well, I got two pairs of Crocs and like a pair of like shoes. Those are kind of cool. Yeah, they're like fur lines. I figured they'll be good for going and just walking around the house. These then ones, I got these. They just look like regular shoes. Yeah. But they're super light. But I needed a new pair of sneakers anyway. So I'm just getting those instead of the, and I'm getting these. We didn't go over the prices, go over the prices on these. Oh. So what was the regular price of these? The regular price was $45 and they were $40. And then buy one, get one free. These were originally forty dollars on sale for twenty five, but yeah, from the buy one get one. And then the other ones. Look at the price of those shoes. Find the tag. Seventy five dollars. Seventy five dollars. Mark down to thirty, and then buy one get one free. And then these ones are for Rachel because they're super Rachel-y. They have flamingos on them. And those were like 45 marked down to 40, right? Yep. No, they were 50 marked down to 35. Right. So in all, we spent like 80 bucks, which I think is pretty good for four pairs. I think so too. And then we also got 
avocados. Two, two avocados for my shoes and a coffee for my shoes. And then we got some lacrosse rackets for Joe's shoes. These were buy two, get one free. And then this one, this lacrosse was on clearance. 97 cents. I sort of can't believe this is actually happening. <laughs> Should we send a picture to Anthony or should we just walk into the house and let him see us in these? I think we should just scare him. So we've become one of those people. That has a suitcase to go shopping. Actually, it's worse. We came into the mall without a suitcase and we're leaving with one. But this was too good of a deal. It was $70 and we could use our Disney points, so it's free. Well, $70 is one thing. What was the original price of it? $199. So this is the most dangerous sight in the world. The scariest thing is watching Joe go in Laker set. It's happening. I can see the money just like coming out of our wallet. Are you sure you want to go? Are you sure you want to go in there? This is a scary sight. Well, we didn't do too bad. We got like a sauce pot. We're in trouble. No, we did pretty good. We got a sauce pot that also has like a little frying pan as a cover. And then we got some plates that were 50% off. That'll look good for our pictures. You know what I, you know when I knew that we were in trouble? Why? When you walked in the door and he was like, hey Joe, what's up? <laughs> Except for they did tell us that he's getting all of the Star Wars stuff. And Rachel's like, we will be coming yes, back. Yes. So now she'll be dragging me back here. Yep. Well, it is 5.30. Time to go home and watch Rachel try to drink three keto chows in one hour. I'm up to the challenge. Anthony. Anthony. It happened. It happened. We got Crocs. Why? No, those are we, fake. We, no, they're not. Those are fake Crocs. These are real Crocs. Go ask Sarah. Those are fake Crocs. These, these are, are real Crocs. But these are not these. These are real. They're real Crocs. Yeah, but these are kind of stupid. And the What's wrong are... with them? They're not those. But they're Crocs. We, like, wanted to be in solidarity with you. I got other ones. I like the shoes. Oh, they had these ones? They were buy one, get one free. Okay, so before we make your ice cream and actually have you start eating three keto chows in an hour, mm -hmm. uh, Miriam from Keto Chow, Chris's wife, sent me a little message. You've got to take a look at this. Rachel, I need you not to do OMAD with Keto Chow because you'll get too full and then you won't like it anymore. So you need to not do that. Or maybe just do it over a three hour period instead of one hour because that's too much and you'll get a tummy ache. So yeah, earlier I texted Chris that you were gonna do this and he was like, Miriam has a disclaimer. Please tell her not to do this because she's never gonna wanna eat keto chow or she just may get really sick. Well, we certainly don't recommend this for anybody, <laughs> but it was just a challenge that I thought, you know, I could accomplish. I did promise Chris though, if after you eat like all of this keto chow in one sitting or over the course of an hour, if you actually like get sick, I have to film it and put it on video. Okay, no, I'm keeping it all down <laughs> now. So Rachel's decided that she wants just a regular keto chow ice cream made in the ice cream maker. So we made up another batch with four ounces of heavy cream, a little bit of the Calvia Farms almond milk water. And now we're gonna put it in here and let it go for about 30 to 40 minutes. Start. And we're off. Ice cream for Rachel in about 30 minutes. Okay, so while Joe is making one of these in the ice cream maker, I have made one keto chow in the Vitamix with just some ice. And we're gonna turn one keto chow into a whole mess of ice cream. So time to get started with dinner. That's only one of three, right? One of three. Look how much it made. While Rachel enjoys her first bowl of ice cream, I'm gonna drink my second keto chow. All right, so one down and still going strong. This is now, I'm gonna get the, uh, use the ice cream one out of our ice cream maker. Look what nice ice cream it makes. 
And then I've just got one more after this one to eat. It took me about like 15 minutes to eat the first batch. So here goes nothing. So weird side effect that I was not anticipating. This much ice cream did not has not made me full. It has made me cold. I actually had to go and jump in the bathtub for like 10 minutes just to like bring up my core temperature. So this is the last one. Going strong. Well, you did it. I did it. How do you feel? I feel cold. I feel freezing cold. Something happened to like break my internal thermometer. So like I, I didn't throw up. I didn't get sick. I have proven that I have a hollow wooden leg that can be filled up with any type of food, including keto chow. I don't know how you did it because, okay, so it is nine o'clock at night, nine seventeen at night. Yeah. I have had my three keto chows and I haven't touched my keto brick and I'm full and don't think I'm going to be able to get it in. But I'm going to try because right now I'm a thousand calories short of my macros for the day and yeah. I don't want to do that. But I'm full from drinking just three keto chows between two o'clock and like eight o'clock. And I didn't drink my keto chows. I turned them all into ice cream to add volume. Yeah, so you made them even bigger. <laughs> so I don't know how you did it. I don't know how I did it e either. But like I said, I'm almost like, I feel freezing in my head, in my, in my blood. <laughs> so that's, it's probably not something that should be repeated, but. Definitely not as ice cream. Yeah. But it was, it was like a, just a, a fast goal to see like, could I do it? I, all I know is that like halfway through her second one, she was like, um, do me a favor, put the third one into the ice cream maker instead of in the blender. Yeah. She's like, I've got to go sit in the bathtub for like 20 minutes because like, and she came out like chattering her teeth. I mean, it was like hysterical. Yeah. I mean, it was cold. I didn't get like a brain freeze, but I, I felt like my blood was frozen. I mean, I'm not busting. I just feel very satisfied. <laughs> like I'm very like going to bed very happy. Well, that is our video for today. Do us a favor. Let us know down in the comment section if you've ever had Keto Chow, what is your favorite flavor? Chocolate toffee. Chocolate toffee? Mm -hmm. I don't know. I kind of like the root beer. Also, let us know down in the comment section, what is your favorite fat to use with it? Butter. You like butter? Absolutely. I really like a heavy cream, especially if you want to turn it into an ice cream, but the heavy cream doesn't always like me. I like butter. I think just butter makes it better. <laughs> But you want to make it sit. Yes, you let definitely want to let day. it sit for a day. It just gets a little bit thicker. It tastes better. The flavors infuse a little bit more. Much better the next day. Yeah, yeah. If you're going to have it for lunch tomorrow, like make it before you go to bed the night before. Yeah. So like I said, that is our video for today. Please do us a favor and hit a like button down below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the little bell icon. And that way, every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. Until next time. Bye. Bye.